Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. Today I want to talk about filament storage options. I'm going to go over how I store my filament, when I store the filament, and then kind of why I do what I'm doing with it. Um, just keep in mind that filament does absorb moisture from the air. So if you live in an area that has high humidity, it's going to be even more important that you do this. If you live in an area that's pretty dry, you can get away with um, not storing it for longer periods of time. Alright guys, before we get started, uh, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, it'll really help us out. Um, and let's talk about why you want to store the filament. Uh, like I mentioned already, uh, filament does absorb moisture from the air, which can cause the actual filament to swell. Uh, that can cause uh, jammed print heads or hot ends. It can also cause um, the filament to be weak and possibly break, and it will have an impact on your final product that you print. Um, Typically more along the lines of like blobs or zits because the actual filament going into the extruder isn't going to be consistent on the diameter. If you're working with any filament like nylons or anything like that, you're going to want to make sure that you store it after every use because they are very uh, delicate and if you don't, you're going to end up destroying the roll probably in a day. Alright, so first let's start with filament storage boxes. Um, this is the one I've been using. I've had it for, I don't know, six or seven months now. Um, it will hold two of your one kilogram rolls or a three kilogram roll. You can use it when you're actively printing. It has tubes that would come out either the side or the top, or you can just use it for storage like I do. Um, just easy to get to, easy to take filament in and out of. Um, I was using it for uh, during prints before, that's why I initially bought it for one of my old setups, but I've changed that since then. Um, the great thing about this is it actually gives you a readout of the um, humidity in there. Um, so like I said, I use this if I'm going to be using a filament in the next week or so, but I'm not planning on using it tomorrow as an example. Uh, so let's go and set this over here. Alright. The next option is... The next option is uh, just your Ziploc bags, or they have uh, filament storage bags as well. It's kind of like a fancy Ziploc bag. Uh, it's the shape of the filament roll, and it has typically little pockets in there uh, to hold your silica gel. Um, those cost like 10 to 15 bucks a piece. This costs 50 cents, uh, maybe less. Um, so I go with this option. Um, Alright, so basically you'll just put your filament in there, it's easy to do, uh, if I'm going to be storing it for a couple months, uh, I'll just throw it in here, seal it up, and uh, make sure we got a good seal on it, and then I'll put it in a weather tight box, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. I right, just want to make sure there's a good seal, go over it a couple times, because if it pops out, um, it kind of defeats the purpose or if the seal breaks. Alright, so let's talk about the filament storage box. Or just a standard weather type box. Um, I use just this generic one. I don't remember where I got it. It might have been Lowe's or Home Depot or Amazon. I don't know. Um, but it's great. It's got the seal around here. So when you're closing it, it's getting a good airtight seal. And you can store four to five rolls of filament in there. I tend to um, use the Ziploc bags uh, with a silica gel in it and then put them in here. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing with this box is I have a couple of these around the house, so it's just it was convenient when I needed it, but they're not expensive. It's a mini dehumidifier. I got this one off of Amazon. I think they're like 15 or 20 bucks, but they are reusable and it shows you when the silica is shot. Uh, you just plug it in for like eight hours and then it'll be good to go again. Um, actually, no, these are pretty good, but if you look, you can kind of see the green and orange in there. Uh, if it's green, it means it's wet. So if all of them are green, you're just gonna wanna recharge it. Um, yeah, so I would store all the filament that I'm gonna be using in the next couple months in here. And then I'll just keep it closed. Sorry about the noise. Now, 
Another option, which I don't do often, but I have done it in the past, is vacuum seal bags. You can use um, vacuum seal, the larger ones that come with your um, vacuum sealers for your food presses, which is what I'm going to show you here. Or you can use the reusable ones that you would actually attach the vacuum to or that have a hand pump, and then it just sucks the air out. Um, I have this, so it's just... I probably wouldn't have bought it specifically for this. I would just get a couple of the reusable vacuum bags. Um, but since I already have it, I use it. So with this, you're going to want to do the same thing as a Ziploc bag. Go ahead and put it in there. And fight with the filament. And then add some silica gel. Actually, let me grab that. Uh, you add your silica gel. I tend to just stick it in the middle there, kind of where it is when you first open it. Um, so what this is going to do is it will get literally all the air out of the um, setup. So you can store it as if it was a brand new roll of filament. Um, which means you can, if you have an odd color like this brown that I don't use often, um, I would just print on or print whatever I was going to be working on and then take it off and then go ahead and seal it so I don't have to worry about it next time I go to use it in six months. So here's the uh, food press machine. Um, it's like I said it just does a lot of the work for you versus just the vacuum bags. The thing I don't like about this is it's not reusable. Um, so it's not exactly the most cost-effective option, but like I said, I already had it, so I just use it. I don't want to buy stuff if I don't need to. All right, so just put it in there. You gotta click, and then, sorry for the noise in advance, but I want you to see how it works. Vacuum seal. As you can see, it's starting to suck all the air out of the actual bag. go and again sorry about the noise um, while I'm opening this make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe all right so this is what it looks like when it's actually done as you can see it's completely airtight and um, pretty much just like it came new out of the box you can store this for extended period of times so without having to worry about it um, I think they say that PLA filament's good for a couple years in a vacuum sealed bag. So I can come back to this in six months or a year and not have to worry about it and just use it. Uh, it's great for uh, things like this that you don't use often, but I very, very, very rarely actually use something like this. Most of the time I'm going with the Ziploc bags and just using the weather tight box. So, and then I would still just if I have space, I'll throw it in here just to keep stuff together. If I don't, I will um, just set it off to the side somewhere. Alright, that covers pretty much all of your storage options for filament. Just make sure that you're using it if you're not actually working with the filament in the next week or so. Um, like I said, most of the time I'll just use the Ziploc bags and then just throw them in here. It works great for 90% of the scenarios. Um, I very rarely will use a vacuum seal bag, but it is an option. Some people do like to use them. Um, if you are going to go that route, you should probably just get some of the ones you can put a vacuum on that are reusable. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more cost effective. All right, guys, that covers our filament storage options. Make sure you leave a comment below um, to let us know how you handle your filament storage. Do you just run through the roll and don't even worry about it? Uh, do you store it with any type of other containers? Do you have any other recommendations? Go ahead and let us know. All right, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.